what's good guys and welcome to yet another exciting and educative episode in our series solving what's he past questions without much i do let's jump straight into it now so this is the was 2016 past question elective ICT paper theory and as usual you have to read through the instructions to know what is expected of you and going through this we just realized we are supposed to create our folder to save our work with our initials and index number in the root directory that means if you're on windows drive c and if you're on any linux distribution that is should be your root folder so we go to our local disk and this is where you're supposed to create our folder to keep our work and any other work that we will solve in these three in this three problem or deal using two hours so could you jump on an index number that so that is that is that so we make sure we save our work in here now let's go back to the question and see what we have at hand so that will be question number two for spreadsheets all right so here we go use an appropriate spreadsheet application to enter the following data so we launch our spreadsheet application which is excel and then let's snap them side by side and let's work great so by now you guys should just pause the video and then start typing in the problem as you see so i'm going to start you can pause here and then do the same and then when we're done we continue together monthly salary here we have tax and then net salary great so we just have to resize these cells make sure everything is okay now staff id we have wa01 by the look of things they are following a serial order and then you know that spreadsheets are very useful when it comes to auto filling so we just type two of them and then we can just auto fill for the rest so up to wa10 and here we go this cell has been center aligned so we can just check on our alignment and do that full names you have to go through type this the names of everyone in there and then this is their salaries so we go in type in them two five hundred three five hundred six thousand three five hundred make sure that everything we typing in there should be correct after all data analysis relies on accurate information so if we feed inaccurate information into our system it returns to what with inaccurate results so 2500 for yobo george and then 500 for humphrey sam all right so so far so good i hope we are all on one page so that is it and then that would do for a apart from just adding borders to the whole of this so apply borders all around and we have a neat table now what do we do next go to b we format the cells under the monthly salary tax and then net salary columns to have the thousand separator two decimal places and then the ghana city symbol all right so we have three cells to apply that to monthly salary tax and net salary so that is our monthly salary this is for tax and then net salary columns now how do we apply those formats to them the thousand separator and all that so what we have to do here is we select our columns and then come to in your home tab in the num number group here and click on this bar so that you reverse other, all other functionality pertaining to this group 
then we come to currency now by default we have two decimal places there that is great and the symbol Ghana city start typing gh and then you can either use this ghc and then ghs that is the the currency in this particular application so that is what we have here and that is neatly applied so we are good to go now when that is done for b we move on to c calculate the tax using the following task rate ranges so these are multiple conditions where we apply some tax percentages to an employee based on how much they earn so based on their monthly salary so if you earn from 2801 and above we apply 25 percent taxation to your salary and it follows like that 1801 to 2800 we apply 20 percent 1301 to 1800 1800 you pay a tax of 10 percent and then when you earn between thousand from thousand eight from eight hundred and one to thousand three hundred you pay five percent now if your salary your monthly salary falls between zero or less than eight hundred or from eight hundred and below you pay no tax that is free so how do we imply this multiple criteria multiple criteria to in solving um, a monthly salary or taxation for this monthly salary now this we can just invoke our if function here so we're going to use nested ifs now the syntax for the if function you have to perform a logical test then the value to return if it is true and then the value to return if it's false so for multiple criteria we're going to create a lot of logical tests and the value if true and then we'll end with the value if false when all those conditions are not met i hope you guys are following right awesome now let's do this so when you jump in here what is a logical test it is advisable always begin from the highest and bring it down to the lowest that is very advisable that is one of the easy tricks to figure this out so we start from the highest so anyone who receives salary that is 2801 and above should get a 25 percent tax that means we have to perform the logical tests such as if your salary is greater than or equal to 2801 then we multiply the value if true there will be to multiply their salary by the tax percentage I hope that is very logical it makes sense right if we want to know how much as an employee is going to pay based on their salary then we have to perform the test to see if they meet the criteria now these are the criteria specified so how do we know for this employee Sunday Olisi what we have to do is one perform the logical test and what is the logical test we have to compare the employee's salary so if the salary is greater than or equal to that means from 2801 it is inclusive so make sure you get that right so if the salary is greater or equal to 2801 then what should we do we should multiply the employee's salary by the percentage of tax that we are going to apply so this is how it look i hope this is very easy to understand then you guys are following right so we have done for the first one we can't conclude and end here because we have to test for all these conditions so we have to go back and do this whole thing again for the different task rates so let's do that then again we can ask another condition in the case where the employee salary is greater or equal to now these are the second criteria here condition here if your salary begins from 1801 and above and above means it cannot go and then go beyond 2801 so that means it automatically end at 2800.99 if we are being very accurate so that is basically that so if the employee's salary 
is greater than or equal to 1,801 here. That means this range from 8,801 to 2,800. Then we must multiply the employee salary by this task rate. So we take that salary and then multiply it by that. I hope you guys are clear. And then now we can do that without explaining the logic behind all of them. So we go again with the next logical test. If the employee's salary is greater or equal to then in this range 1301, then we have to multiply that salary by 10%. We again do till the last part one. Again, if we ask if the employee salary ranges from 801. Up to this range 1301 then we have to multiply the employee salary and the tax rates permissible there is five percent great now the employees whose salary is below 800 that is 800 and below doesn't get to pay any tax there is no tax rates charged to that salary so that becomes the only variable here where we can apply the value if false so if any other thing doesn't hold true that means the above which we specified if everything else doesn't hold true that means if the salary is not between 2000 and above from this second range 1801 to 2800 to this and that then the person doesn't get to pay any any tax i hope you guys guess this logic so that would be the value if false so if all of this doesn't happen that means that the employee salary falls between this range and that is the value if false if you don't see this we are telling excel hey excel if you don't see this you don't see that you don't see any salary between these ranges then automatically the person or the employee had a salary that falls between this range and for that there should be a free tax so that means the person or the employee pays zero tax so we do that and then we, we count the number of ifs that we used and then we close our bracket so looking at stuff we had one if second one third and fourth so we have to close with four brackets one two three and four and when that is done you hit enter and then it is calculated for you so this salary range we can see 2500 falls between the second where we have to calculate for what is the charge rate out there so let me just bring that up so we see so 2500 will fall between this range that is 20 percent so 20 percent of 2500 will give us our 500 that is basically the logic there and when you go through all this that is what you find out so we auto fail don't be scared when or shiver when you see this that means that the cells in there cannot contain we have to expand ourselves so just resize your cell and then everything works very well and everything is that is not fitting into the cell comes back fitted so we are good on this note so that is it for C. Now D, calculate the net salary for each staff where the net salary is equal to monthly salary minus task, minus the tax. So that is what you do. You just have to subtract the tax from the monthly salary to get the net salary. That is what the employee sends for. So this is a simple formula. Take this value and then we take the taxation value from this. You hit enter and then yeah 2500 minus 500 is 2000 auto complete and then we have that i hope this is very understandable to everyone awesome now let's see what's next we have to do so this is done we're jumping on to e now with e we are supposed to protect all the cells without a password very important except the cells containing figures under the monthly salary so what do you guys get from this 
we have to protect every cell here on our worksheet except the cells under our monthly salary okay now we protect each cell such that they can be selected but not accept entry so the protection will be like we can select the cell but we can't input data except here except for the monthly salary part so that is the instruction and how can we solve this now this can be solved in let's say four basic steps and what are they one we have to select the whole cell now basically to be concise let's select our the whole field here our table so to say all right now what we do here we have to select everything and then format the cells now under format cells this is what you have here we have number alignment a bunch of tabs here go to protection now this protection you see this button here locked now locking cells or hiding has no effect on the work view and all that so we select one to lock everything that is okay next up we have to unlock our monthly salary because that is supposed to be free and then the data inside those two cells can be manipulated so we uncheck this button under protection so that the values under monthly salary is unlocked now when that is done we're jumping to the last and final step just identify your review tab and then you see this protect worksheet now when you click on protect worksheet the question expressly told us not to password protect it so we're not going to input any password here and yes we're going to protect the worksheet and the content of the locked cells remember we locked everything here except that of the monthly salary now any user will be able to select the locked cell and then select on lock cell basically so when we just select that let's see what happens here now let's jump here and start trying to input data you see what happens excel gives us a pop-up that's the cell or the chart we are trying to change is on a protected sheet so to make a change unprotect the sheet you might be requested to use a password remember we didn't password protect and we can't enter any data but what about the part where we just changed everything where we unlocked the cells is it possible to change data here let's try changing this data to just 200 and whoa everything changes and it affects our tax and the net salary so this actually maintains the purpose or what the question demanded from us so that is basically that we can change data here we can select and manipulate data here but then we can't do that anywhere else but when you jump here we can't do that so that's that's satisfy the question and then we are good to go so that answers our problem a now lastly we have to save the workbook as salary in the folder that we created so let's bring that up hit file we save us into the folder we created let's browse over there so we go to drive c a local drive where i created or we created our folder and then we name this workbook salary and then we save that so let's close this come back here and please make sure you verify that your work is indeed there you don't want to be unfortunate so always when you're done with your work make sure you verify that everything is good to go before you close them and then jump to the next question thank you guys for joining me if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe share with your friends and then keep learning this is Kojo Japan it's been great having you guys around see you in the next video bye bye